Hi there, this is Heidi George Hathaway with the OpenStack Foundation. I'm here with the Mitaka Design Series featuring John Garbett from Nova. Um, John, tell us a little bit about yourself. Thank you for having me. Uh, so I'm John Garbett. I'm currently a principal engineer at Rackspace working on the public cloud there. I was Nova PTL for the uh, last cycle, for the Liberty cycle, and also Nova PTL for Mitaka. You're also known as the tuba guy. I am. My IRC next on the tuba guy. Let's talk a little bit about the hot topics that, that you discovered in Tokyo at the Design Summit. Um, what were some of the decisions and outcomes from these discussions? So one of the things we spent a lot of time on was looking at the resource modeling, so how Nova and the schedule interacts and sort of coming up with a way in which we can model that interaction and get a good version of the API there. Uh, there were some other, there were lots of other good conversations sort of focusing on specific issues that people have come up with. We had some unconference sessions looking at drilling into the specific issue, see how we get forward on that. And that was really productive, I think. One of the other things, I guess, is stuff that wasn't uh, a hot topic. There was a lot of stuff that we agreed ahead of time using the spec process and the specless blueprint process and got it all locked into place before the summit so we could really focus on things that needed the in-person discussion and get down to the details on those so we can get everyone moving forward as fast as possible. So tell us more um, about some of the planning um, and, and particularly the user needs that you had identified um, as, as the problems you're trying to solve. Yeah, let me sort of give you a quick whistle-stop tour of some of the, the big highlights of things that we, we spoke about. One was config options. We have a, an amazing number of config options at least 800, almost uncountable. We need to get those down. We need to work out what they all do uh, and get that documented. We had a developer go digging and he sort of realized how bad it was in some of these areas. So we need to go down that route and try to sort that out. There's a whole host of other little things. So for example, we have a notification system to sort of integrate with internal systems. Um, we found a way of versioning that and trying to evolve that so we can uh, get that to a better state and get some documenting going. There's some great work to try and adopt Lope OS Info. There's a new package that can help with getting better default configuration values for images to make the image metadata setting easier. There's some interesting NFV use cases that we were discussing. There's some new physical function pass through for SROV. Uh, there's hierarchical quotas came up. We think we found a way forward to get that in. Uh, looking at Manila integration, um, those folks want to isolate their connections from the network. Uh, a whole heap of really interesting things. I guess there's, there were a lot more sort of things were involving cross projects and starting to make progress between the multiple projects. Probably one highlight from that kind of set of stuff was working with people from Trove and other kind of projects where they need to use Nova. So they need to protect the server that they have running with Nova. So we're looking at ways forward on moving forward with that. Tell us more then um, about the priorities that came out of the Design Summit. Um, what do you see as maybe the top three or four priorities for your new features and enhancements going forward? So one thing we have started doing Nova over the past few releases is actually as a, as a community using one or two Design Summit sessions, getting together and sitting down and agreeing what we want to focus on and setting up the process to make sure that we can actually focus on that. Um, naturally, you asked for three or four, and being a developer, I came up with five, because that <laughs> just to annoy you. So that's no, good. No, you're great. Uh, <laughs> so the ones that we have right now, first is Live Migrate. Uh -huh. There's no particular order, but Live Migrate is one of those operations that's been a problem point, largely due to a, a lack of upstream testing. So we're working on uh, doubling down on that. There's a whole group of people from all sorts of different companies getting together and focusing on that, which is great. So we want to support that, make it a priority. Um, there's quite a few things that we've carried over from the uh, last release. So these are multi-cycle things that are just taking time. Uh, one is the API work. So we're going to focus on API documentation and making sure that the service catalog, is, well, making sure that the API works well for the service catalog. Uh, there's another piece, um, which is the cells, so the cells v2 work. Um, so that's 
that again is uh, is going to be a focus for this cycle. A piece um, that there was a lot of interest on was OS fifth lib. That's another priority, which is basically trying to make sure that we have a solid interface between Nova and Neutron to do with all the VIF plugging. So we're going to work on that, uh, and that's really important to support uh, Neutron's big stadium of projects and make sure that we keep the velocity on the VIF plugins. Uh, another piece which I was talking about earlier was the scheduler. So we're going to keep keep working on the scheduler and getting that interface solid. So yeah, it's live migrate, the API, cells, OS fifth lib, and the scheduler. Well, one of the ways that we try to connect the dots among projects is by defining project themes. Um, and so I wondered if there were a few key themes or, or maybe one theme um, that you see that your project will really achieve in Metaka. That's a good question. Uh, one of the things I've done is I've sat down and looked at the, the themes that the product working group are using, the scalability, resiliency, and all the, these kind of things. Um, and honestly, Nova has little pieces that actually hit on my, like each one of these. Um, so I'll dig into a few of these just to add some color to that list of priorities. So scalability. Yep. One of the things that Cells is actually helping with is trying to get to that next level of scale. We need to make sure a single cell scales well, but also have ways of attaching these scales. Um, but, you know, ex expanding deployments. So it also adds to the manageability piece as well at the same time, because you can deploy individual cells, test them, get them ready, and then add them into production. So you're sort of deploying these little units that you keep adding. The cells are super useful for that. Another piece is probably resiliency. Uh, the live migrate work, that's really kind of digging into there. There's lots of other things, sort of resiliency, technical debt kind of pieces that are coming up. So the live migrate, but as well as keeping the APIs during upgrade, uh, keeping the API up during upgrade, uh, tackling things like quotas, as we mentioned, the hierarchical quotas. There's lots of pieces there. Modularity is a big thing. The OS fifth lib, making sure that the Nova Neutron interface is good, making sure that the schedule interface is good, so we can start adding more support in there. Uh, lots of work on those fronts. Um, and again, lots of work on the API and making sure it's documented so people can use that So on the inter interoperability front. So yeah, lots of things. John, thank you so much for taking time with us. Um, we really appreciate it. Um, John, the tuba guy. Thank you very much. See you later.